everyone, my name is Mike Robertson. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to use the miter saw, just some very basic, uh, basic concepts. So, uh, first of all, I'll start with some terminology. We'll call this the table. This is the fence. We'll just say stock for wood. And then, of course, we have the harder handle and trigger. Now, some basics that I've seen some people do in the past. They'll uh, go to cut a board. Some people are tempted to see the blade and line it up with whatever line they may have, so they'll lift up the guard. Don't do that. Just push it down, the blade will lift up naturally, and kind of look at it from the side. Also, anywhere within about five inches of the blade is a danger zone. So you want to be very careful to keep your hands away from there. You want to hold the stock firmly down against the table and against the fence. Make sure that it's not loose at all. Don't have a free hand. So, if you have to cut more than one piece, don't ever stack them up. It's kind of tempting, especially if you want them the exact same length, but for that you need to set up a stop lock. Uh, you can clamp this on the fence, or if you have a longer table, you can set something up, or if you have a, uh, a nice stand that has a stop on it, you can set that up as well. If you uh, are at a school, you probably want to get the instructor permission to set up a stop lock and get their approval on it before you go ahead and cut something with that. Now, having said that, we call this a miter saw because it's specifically for miter. You can cut whatever angle you'd like as long as it's a cross grain. Don't ever go with the grain. It's not for ripping. So do not rip with this saw. It's a miter saw. You make cross grain cuts with this. So, another thing I've seen people do, as with most every power tool, you never have a blade contacting the stock before you go ahead and cut it. You start it when it's up away from the stock. So make sure you have your glasses on, they'll engage the blade, hold on to the stock firmly against the table, against the fence. Quite often I get the habit of waiting for the blade to stop while it's down, that way I'm not tempted to reach in and grab my stock. Also, if you have a very thin piece you're cutting, quite often when you lift it up, the blade will catch it and throw it, and that could be, uh, it could, could create a dangerous situation, so you don't want to do that. So, as always, you want to read the manufacturer's safety instructions and operating instructions and understand them before you use any piece of power equipment, and stay safe and have fun. Thanks.